What is going on guys? Jeff here for Mad Hatter's Reef and today we got a brand new video for you. We're going to be taking a look at the top 10 damselfish but before we jump into that if this is your first time being here this is where I talk about everything reef tank related. So if you love reef tanks like I do make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time that I upload a new video because I put out a new video every single week. Now this week, we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 damselfish. But before we get into that top 10, there's one thing that we need to talk about when we are talking about damselfish. Know what I'm talking about? Damselfish are some of the most hardy, yet some of the most aggressive saltwater fish that you could ever put into your reef tank. In a lot of cases, they're just not a good candidate for a lot of beginner hobbyists. And the problem with that is because they are some of the most inexpensive saltwater fish. So a lot of folks get trapped into picking these guys up. They're readily available. They're inexpensive. A lot of folks will buy them, throw them into their tank as their first fish. And then they find out that they can't put any more fish in that tank without the damselfish just beating everybody up. They're just not a great beginner fish or really a fish in general. So without further ado, let's jump into our top 10. And coming at the number 10 spot is the three spot Domino Damselfish. This guy is absolutely hands down one of the biggest bullies that you could ever put into your reef tank. And I guarantee you right now you could go to a big box fish store and find these guys for sale. They typically price point is anywhere from $5 to $10, which is really attractive to a new hobbyist who has just set up a new tank, spent a lot of money, now just wants to get a fish in there so they can start doing the cycling process and all that. This guy is a trap waiting to happen. He's just sitting there looking at you and saying, Hey there, new hobbyist. Why don't you come over here? You got a pretty mouth. Look at me. Look at that price tag. That price tag's so low, you can't say no. Oh, I'm going to mess your tank up. This guy is easy to care for, aggressive, just flat out aggressive, omnivore. He eats the meats and also the herbs. He is considered reef safe and grows upwards of five and a half inches and requires a minimum tank size of 30 gallons. Definitely don't check him out. The three spot domino damselfish. Coming in at number nine of the top fish to avoid adding to your reef tank is the bluefin damselfish. Now, this guy is decently looking. He's a little bland in the midsection, but he has a pretty interesting bluefin on the bottom and definitely a interesting yellow mohawk on the top. Price point on these guys, pretty similar to the Domino. He's going to be anywhere from 5 to $10, depending on where you're picking him up and how big he is. He is easy to care for, aggressive in his temperament, omnivore, Base diet is reef safe with caution, so he's going to chewy chomp on some inverts. So that's something that um, nobody really is safe with this guy. They grow pretty large, too. I think this is one of the largest damsels on the list. He can get upwards of 7 inches. It requires a minimum tank size of 50 gallons. Check him out, the bluefin damselfish. Coming in at number 8 on our top 10 damsels is the four-stripe damsel. Yeah, I've been to prison, and I ain't scared to go back neither. The four-stripe damselfish is considered easy to care for. It has aggressive temperament, is definitely a attractive fish for the most part. It's kind of cute looking, but he's not very nice. He has an omnivore-based diet, is considered reef-safe, grows upwards of 3.5 inches, and requires a minimum tank size of 30 gallons. Now, as far as the attitude on this guy, he's probably going to get worse with age, much like most of us. He's not necessarily going to pick on invertebrates and definitely requires a number of different hiding spaces because he likes to attack and then run away. Attack and then run away. As far as price point goes, not bad. Typically 5 to $10, but who wants to buy it anyways, right? Coming in at number 7 on our top 10 damsels is the blue... Devil Damsel. They're not even trying to hide it anymore. It's in the name. It's literally built into the name. You think everything's a devil, mama? These guys are considered easy to care for, have a semi scratch that aggressive temperament. I forgot what I was talking about here. We're talking about damsel's fish. Dems the devils. They have an omnivore based diet, are considered reef safe, which is one of the few damsels that actually are. They grow upwards of three inches and require a minimum tank size of 30 gallons. Now, as far as pretty damsels go, this is probably one of 
the best looking damsels out there. Price point a little bit higher than to be expected. This guy's sixteen to twenty dollars, depending on where you pick him up. Definitely an attractive damsel, but yet probably not the best candidate for a community saltwater tank. Coming in at number six on our top ten damsels is the lemon damselfish. Now this guy looks like a sweet little guy. Ain't he cute? He's probably not going to mess up anything in your tank or beat up your invertebrates or your prize fish, the fish that you actually like. He's just going to live his little life out in your reef tank and be, I'm a little lemon damsel fish. I'm so happy to be here. Everything's bright and shiny, just like my disposition. Get out of my face. You want some of Debo? Who wants some of Debo? Nobody want none of lemon peel Debo. This guy is easy to care for, semi-aggressive, so he's not just completely aggressive. He's only semi-aggressive. That's all. That's uplifting. Omnivore based at is reef safe with caution. Can grow upwards of two and a half inches and requires a minimum tank size of 30 gallons. Coming in at number five, probably one of the most prevalent of the damselfish, the yellow tail damsels. Damsels. Fish. Fish. I mean, damsels. Damsels fish. These guys are decently priced as far as damselfish go, and they're definitely beautiful in their coloration. I mean, it's an absolute stunning fish. If this guy was even semi-aggressive, I would consider putting him in an established tank that probably has all the fish that I want to put in it because they're really beautiful. As far as price point goes, you typically can find them anywhere from 6 to $12, depending on where you're picking them up. They are considered easy to care for, definitely aggressive. They have an omnivore-based diet, are reef safe, grow upwards of two, almost three inches, and require a minimum tank size of 30 gallons. One of the fish that I wish I could actually keep in my tank because it's just darn so pretty, the yellowtail damsel fish. Coming in at number four in our top ten damsel fish is the Talbot's damsel fish. This guy is considered easy to care for, has a semi-aggressive temperament, omnivore-based diet, is reef safe, grow upwards of two and a half inches and requires a minimum tank size of 30 gallons. As far as price point goes on this guy, you can typically find him anywhere it's from 6 to $12. Not the most beautiful fish, but definitely an interesting variation of the damselfish and definitely aggressive. So it's one of those ones that, again, you want to make sure that you are doing your research on your fish before adding them to your tank. And they, like most damselfish, require a number of different hiding spots and also should be placed with other aggressive saltwater fish. Coming in at number three on our top 10 damselfish is the Tracy's damselfish. Now, this is probably one of the most expensive damselfish out there, as well as one of the most expensive ones on this list. And it really depends on where you're picking it up from. But uh, typically, you can find them anywhere from 20 to $30. And that has to do with you know availability, as well as how big the damselfish is. They are considered easy to care for, semi-aggressive. They have an omnivore based at... These are one of the few damselfish that are actually considered reef safe. They are very, very small. Uh, max size on these guys is about 2 inches, and they require a minimum tank size of 30 gallons. Now, if you're looking for a not-so-aggressive damselfish it, to add to a already established aquarium that doesn't have a lot of peaceful fish in it, check out the Tracy's damselfish. Coming in at number 2 on our top 10 damselfish is the blue sapphire damselfish. Now, as far as colorations go, this fish is beautiful. Now, there's something interesting about this guy. Uh, it's actually put down as a peaceful damselfish, but I don't believe it for a second. I actually would have to watch this fish and observe it for a period of time to actually um, be able to speak to that. So it's very important to make sure you do your research before you pick up any saltwater fish and bring them home. Uh, these guys aren't readily available, but when you do see them, a uh, typical price point is anywhere is from 10 to $15. They are considered easy to care for. They have a peaceful temperament. Carnivore-based at are considered reef safe, grow upwards of two inches, and require a minimum tank size of 30 gallons. Coming in at number one on our top 10 damselfish is the Jewel Damsel. Now, this guy, price point, 
typically anywhere from 20 to $30. This is probably one of the most beautiful damselfish I've ever seen. Uh, it has like a blue, dark blue base with like these light, almost airbrushed looking light reflective blues into a kind of yellowish tail. Definitely an interesting saltwater fish. These guys are considered easy to care for, have an aggressive temperament like you would expect from a damselfish. Omnivore-based diet. They are reef safe. Grow upwards of 6 inches, so they're one of the larger ones. and require a minimum tank size of 50 gallons. All right, folks, that's going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. And if you want to learn more about saltwater fish, check this video out. I will see you over there.